unsettling scene as a group of teenagers rushes into a Brooklyn store and goes on a rampage inside. Questions tonight, was this an isolated incident or part of a disturbing pattern of hate crimes? CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports that's a question many people asking tonight in Crown Heights. The gate on Yankee Klein's gourmet butcher goes up, but he's feeling down. His store mobbed and ransacked by young vandals. His brother attacked. He punched him in his face. Klein suspects the motive for the crime, that he's Jewish. Police not officially classifying it a hate crime. Anti-Semitism is considered the driving force for what happened to Leonard Petlock. Right outside the Barclays Center after a basketball game, and in full view of his kids, a man attacked him. It's a message for all of us not to be afraid and not to, and to stand up together. And that's, he is not shy to show the public what was done to him. Brooklyn is the borough with the highest number of hate crime cases. Politicians, religious leaders, and activists say they have a plan. To combat the state of hate in Brooklyn is to turn back these troubling statistics. From January to September of this year, 95 hate crimes reported, with the borough seeing a 30% increase year to year. Are we going back to the days where Crown Heights was divided? And I say no to that. Borough President Adams praised the work of coalitions formed in the aftermath of the Crown Heights riot of 1991, saying everyone must put haters on notice. We will not go backwards. We are going to stand together. All of us that are here from amongst the different faiths. We have no tolerance for intolerance. They stand together to root out mob rule and hate whenever and wherever it flares up. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Police tell us they've made no arrests in either of those cases.